Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video and most probably in the next video also, I'm going to show you how we can create a simple notepad using Qt. So what we are going to do is we will try to apply whatever whatever we have learned till now in this video and try to create a small a little project which is a, a Qt notepad. So let's get started. First of all, I've created the simple empty project. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main window.ui file. And in here, first of all, I will uh, just take a text box. Okay. So just uh, take this text, add it from here and uh, drag and drop into your form. Now what you can do here is you can apply a layout to uh, this window which is for example you can apply this horizontal layout okay so it will cover all your um, all your uh, main window. Now next uh, step is uh, to create some menu items so uh, what we will do is let's create some menu items here and the standard menu item is file for example and I will just keep file with capital F and inside the file I will just add a new option and then the second option will be to open something so the second option I will just say open and then I will provide a separator here and then I will say save and press enter and then save as so just write save as and press enter okay so we have I think we have three separators somehow so I will just remove two separators from here okay now uh, in the second menu item I will just say add it and the first menu item would be for example uh, cut and the so cut with capital C cut and then press enter then uh, copy so just write copy and then the paste so just write paste okay and we will add a separator here and after the separator we will uh, just give for example redo and undo so just write redo and uh, here just write undo okay and the third menu option we will provide here for example would be about this notepad so I will just say about okay so these are the menu items uh, I have added and uh, we have learned in our previous video how uh, Q action class works so whenever you create a menu item here all the you know related uh, Q action uh, objects are created here also right so you have uh, new and open save save as whatever menu item you have created here there are some uh, actions also created here right so the next uh, step is to provide some icons to our uh, uh, all the menu items so we will add a resource file first so I will go to my project right click on my project and I will say add new and then qt resource file qt resource file and then i will name uh, my resource file as uh, resource itself and click next and then click finish it will create a resource file for me and then i will go here add and i will add a prefix for example uh, rec for resource and once this uh, prefix is created i can add my uh, icons so why what I have done is I have already downloaded uh, the icons and saved it in my project folder so I, I can click any uh, file here and I will say show in Explorer and uh, it will show me uh, this kind of project structure what I have right and I have created the, an extra uh, folder here and I have uh, downloaded some of the icons here right so I will choose these icons from my project uh, file so you can download and create an image folder in your project and then you can uh, add it as resources right so add files and I will go to image folder and I will choose all instead of this 
and click OK. So it will add all the uh, icons in my resource file. And then I will just say Control S to save the resources so that I can use them, right? So now I will go to main window.ui file once again and I will uh, provide the icons here. So I will uh, just double click here and uh, the name uh, I will leave it as default but from here I want to provide the icon. So for new I will just choose a new icon if I can find it, this one, OK and this click OK and in the same way I will just double click every uh, you know every action and I will just provide the icon to it so open click OK and I will do the uh, same for rest of uh, them so I will just pause the video and then continue after I uh, added all the icons right so I have added all the icons here and if you have followed my Q action tutorial you would know that I can just drag uh, these actions to my toolbar here and they will be visible also right so I will drag it here and then uh, all the icons in my toolbar also okay so one by one I will add them cut and then copy and then paste and I have two more uh, redo and undo right and I think I just forget the about uh, menu items. I will just add, uh, for example, about, uh, for example, notepad, right? And press enter. And then I will just add the icon for this also. So I will just search for about and click OK. And then I will just uh, drag and drop here. Now, if I want to add a separator for my toolbar also, I can just go here in between uh, save as and cut for example right click here and I will say insert separator before action cut so it will add the this kind of separator here also I want to insert the separator before uh, redo and uh, paste so I will just go here and do here I wanted to do it uh, before uh, the redo so like this and also before uh, the about so like this okay so you can also set the these kind of separators right now first of all let's try to run our app and let's see how it looks like so I'm going to run it and you can see it looks like this okay so now what we can do is we can write some code uh, for uh, this thing so next step to uh, add some code so that these functions or buttons or menu items uh, must work so the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this kind of uh, this uh, space from the side you can see a little bit of space uh, here at the side of uh, this uh, text uh, edit right so I'm going to go to my uh, edit mode and I will go to a main window.cpp file and in the constructor I will just say this dot uh, set central vis widget okay and uh, the widget will be UI and your uh, text edit name okay and now let's run the code again and let's see uh, what happens when we run the code so now you can see the spaces are gone from the side Right? So this is why I wanted to uh, you know write this code. Now the next step I will go to main window.ui file and I want to add the trigger for every actions right. So if you remember how I used uh, you know uh, trigger in actions you can just uh, right click on uh, your action and then uh, just click uh, this go to slot and then you can just uh, choose triggered here right and then click OK so it will create a trigger for your every action so I will just pause the video and I will provide uh, the trigger to each and every action what we have here so I will just right click on each of the actions and provide the trigger to it okay so I have provided a trigger to each and every action what I have now the most maybe complicated part for uh, this notepad would be creating a new uh, file or open a file. So let's deal with the simple stuff first and then uh, we will uh, deal with the complicated stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide the code 
for uh, for example cut copy paste and redo and undo let's check uh, how it works so i'm going to go to uh, the trigger which says uh, action cut triggered which is for my cut action and here i will just write ui and then i will call my uh, text edit so just write uh, text edit and then just call cut okay so there is a function called cut and that's it okay so same i'm going to do with uh, paste also so just dot uh, paste and this is the function and same i'm going to do with the copy so on action copy so i will just uh, paste this code and then i will just call a copy function here right same i will do for redo and undo so this is my redo triggered so i will just call uh, redo function here and also undo function so i will just call a undo function right now there are uh, some more uh, you know uh, functions here which you can play with but uh, right now we are just creating a very simple uh, you know uh, notepad there is uh, this function called undo available it will check if uh, the undo is available or not and it will give the boolean value and if undo is available then it will uh, say true or false and then you can check if the undo is available or not right but for now we will just uh, deal with the simple uh, things right so save and save as and uh, open and new i will leave for uh, now and let's run the code and let's see uh, if uh, this code works for cut copy paste and uh, redo and undo okay so what i'm going to do is i will just provide uh, some uh, text here and first of all i will cut and it's cutting and then i will uh, paste it so just paste it so it's pasting and then uh, i will just uh, copy this code and i will paste it again and it's pre pasting right and then i will just uh, click the undo button it will undo my changes and then i will press the redo button it redoing my things right so undo and redo so all my buttons are working and now the remaining thing is new uh, open save and uh, save as and about button so this we will see in the next video i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now